Yo, what's good, you two? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the World Series here in the New Orleans Kings franchise on MLB The Show 20. We take on Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers legend in game number two, and we will trot out Pablo Lopez. Now, you guys are probably wondering, where is Joe Musgrove in this? Well, he's still recovering. That's one thing about MLB The Show that I'm not pleased with as far as franchise. There's not many things at all. But one thing is the recovery time of pitchers. I mean, it's been like two weeks almost, a week and a half, and Joe Musgrove still doesn't have full energy. So we're going with Pablo Lopez in this matchup. This is a matchup of aces and really a guy that should have been our ace in this series, Pablo Lopez. But because of injury, we went with Joe Musgrove. So let's hop into game two as here is a base hit by Marte to start it out. And that was knocked down, but thrown to first, not in time. Ground ball to third base on the next batter, and it's just going to be a force out as we get the out at second base. We couldn't turn it in time as that brings up Cody Bellinger to the plate. He goes to left field, and it gets down. Brantley makes it all the way to the wall, comes up throwing, but a runner will score, and the Dodgers strike first. Once again, the Dodgers take the early lead, and this has been a trend so far. Let's see if we can get out of this jam, though. Marcelo Zuna hitting in the four hole, hitting about 300 in the playoffs. Ground ball to Pena, and he is a great fielder. He comes up throwing two outs. So now with two outs, let's see if Seager can come through for the Dodgers. Lopez outside changeup, and it's a ground ball and the third out of the inning. But the Dodgers take the early 1-0 lead off of the bat of Cody Bellinger. So let's move on to the bottom of the second inning. Here is Jay Cave who goes to opposite field. He gets a hit. Remember Jay Cave in the regular season went up plus 11, plus 11 in power versus left. And he's 30 years old. That's the type of season he had versus left-handers. Now that brings up Michael Brantley to the plate with a man on second base and it's just going to be a pop-up in the infield for the first out of the inning. Clayton Kershaw does not look bad so far. Let's see if Corey Lee can turn this into a tie ball game and an outside curveball swing and miss and that is the third out of the inning as Kershaw gets out of that jam. So we move on to the top of the fourth. Here's Marcelo Zuna at the plate and their middle of the lineup is lethal. They're three, four, fives and six hitter and that's the grouping of Bellinger, Ozuna, all those guys. And Ozuna starts it out with a hit. That brings up Seager. Hard hit up the middle. It bounces off of Lopez. And Lopez kind of misses, lost track of it. And it's going to be a single. So now guys on first and second here. Here is Ruiz at the play, who's one for one. One, two count. And he hits one hard up the middle. Justin Thompson fields it. But it looks like they are going to score their second run of the game. Throw to third base. And if that throw was on, Corey Seager would have been thrown out. But instead, it's 2-0 here. One out still in the fourth. That brings up Cody Hosey to the plate. The power hitting third baseman. And it's going to be ball four. So now, guys, all around. Will Smith on the mound. And we decide to pull Pablo Lopez early and bring in Rowan Wick, who has been okay here in the playoffs. Let's see if he can get us out of this jam. Will Smith hitting in the nine hole. Just hits a little Texas leaguer inside outs it to right field. Cave comes up throwing, but a 3-0 lead here for the Dodgers. And now they still have bases loaded with one out. Marte to the plate. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. We try to turn two and throw into first. And Marte beats it out. And at least we preserve a run that time. Now with two outs. Fly ball, shallow right center field. Justin Thompson on the run, saving two runs on that one. Great defensive play by the second year man. So we move on to the bottom of the fourth. Here's Moncada who hits one up the middle and that's knocked down by Seager, but Johan Moncada will beat that one out. And now we start out this inning with the man on first base. Carlos Santana to the plate, inside pitch and it's ball four. You won't see Carlos Santana not waving at pitches that close to the zone as that brings in Jake Cave, who's already one for one in this game. 3-2 count, pitch right over the middle, and Jake Cave blasts one deep. 
and it makes it over the wall. It's a home run in a tie ball game. Jake Cave. How about this guy, man? We signed him to that two-year extension, and look at him now. Tying a game up in the World Series. It's 3-3. Three to three. Now we move on to the top of the fifth. Here is Bellinger going to opposite field. It's another home run. And Bellinger goes deep. 363 feet, barely made it over that wall. But it gets it done, and the Dodgers take that lead right back in the fifth. Now we move on to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here is Yanni Hernandez at the plate, and he gets on first base. So now we got speed on first with the bottom of our lineup coming up. I love when our nine, one, and two comes up because Jeremy Pena is always clutch in that nine hole. He gets a hit up the middle, and now we got guys on first and second here, no outs. That brings up Justin Thompson to the plate. We're going to bunt him over here. And it's a slow roller to third, and Hosey throws to second. Safe all around. Bases loaded. Yuan Moncada to the plate. One for two in this game. Hosey may have made a mistake. Two on count. Low pitch. It's just a ground ball to Seeger. He turns two, but it's a tie. No, it's not two outs. It's a tie ball game, as it looks like Smith at first base could not handle the throw. So now guys on the corners, Carlos Santana up to the plate, and he hits one hard down the left field line. That one gets all the way to the wall. Let's see if it scores two. And it's not going to be a throw home by Seager. He should have at least made the attempt. He does not even try to throw out Mancata, and it's 6-4. to four. This fifth inning is still going now. Jake Cave at the plate, and he walks. Wow, what a long inning for Clayton Kershaw as they finally go to the bullpen and they bring in a relief pitcher, Gratterall. I believe that's how you say it. Maybe I'm wrong. And he's doing decent here in the playoffs. Let's see if Brantley can keep this inning going. So got now a guy's on first and second. A wild pitch. And now both runners move over. And guys on second and third, really a ground ball will score another run. And Brantley 0 for 2, 3 1 count, pitch right over the middle, and it's a fly ball to left. Will we tag up? And we won't. We will hold off our runner at third base. The throw was even off. Scooter Jeanette hitting in the sixth hole. He's 0 for 2 so far. He goes to left field, and it's going to be caught. Peralta with a probably a two run saving diving catch as we move on to the sixth inning. Now the Dodgers are down by two runs. Here is Rowan Wick still on the mound for us, but the Dodgers starting out the sixth with a leadoff double. Smith has killed us in this series. So Will Smith at second base. Here is Starling Marte. He goes the opposite field deep, and that one should be deep enough to tag the runner, and it looks like Smith will advance over to third base, and now they have a chance to bring it to within one at least. So we go to our bullpen hoping for a strikeout here. Alex Claudio is a pretty good strikeout pitcher, but he hasn't appeared much here in the playoffs. That brings up the two-hole hitter who hits one to third base, and it looks like it was just slow enough to score the runner from third. It's now a 6-5 to five game. Now with two outs, Cody Bellinger hits one hard up the middle, and it's a single. So this sixth inning, does not end either. So now with a man on first base, five to six game, Marcelo Zuna at the plate, who hits one to the gap, and that's his second hit of the game. Thompson, he's got to come to throwing up to this cutoff man. He does get it in, and I want to preserve that run because now one more hit, and it's a tie ball game. Maybe even the Dodgers take the lead, but Seager comes up and swings and misses. Claudio gets out of the jam as we move on to the top of the seventh. Cody Hosey at the plate. He's going to watch that one. We get through seven innings. Here's still six to five. Now to the eighth inning. A liner to left field. Will it be caught? No, it won't. Brantley misses that one, has a bad angle, and it's going to get to the wall. So now with two outs in the eighth inning, we decide to go to our bullpen and bring in Keenan Middleton who everybody was trying to trade for before the trade deadline. He appears in the World Series. 
Bellinger, hard liner, and that is the third out of the eighth as we move into the ninth, the bottom of the eighth inning as that brings in Michael Brantley. Let's see if we can add some insurance. That's a deep fly ball. Marte on the run, it's gonna get over his head. It bounces off of the wall. And now we have a man on second base. No outs here in the bottom of the eighth inning. So Scooter up at the plate. You know he's Mr. Clutch. Ground ball into Chopper. And will we send the runner? We will, but then we hold up. There's still no outs in this inning. Why even risk it? So Scooter comes up clutch, and they have to go to their bullpen, and they bring in Hector Neris out of the bullpen, and he actually has appeared in every single game pretty much this playoffs. So that brings up Corey Lee in a seven hole, and he gets a pitch perfect right over the middle of the plate, and it was perfect timing on the swing. Yanni at the plate, 3-2 count, and he walks. Base is loaded, one out with Jeremy Pena at the plate. Remember, he already has a hit in this game. One right over the middle, and that one was served up. But it should be deep enough to tag the runner from third, and we do send him in another run added here in the eighth inning. It's seven to five. So one more hit will probably score the runner from second is Justin Thompson just pops one behind the plate, but we add an extra run for insurance and now we're into the ninth inning. The four, five, and six hitters up for the Dodgers. Marcelo Zuna starts it out, and he just pops it up in the infield. Make it one out. That brings up Corey Seager, the shortstop. One for four in this game. Outside pitch, he goes with it, and it looks like it's just in Brantley's reach here, away from the shift. That's two outs. David Peralta, the last chance for the Dodgers, Ground ball, Moncada, and it's three outs. There we go. A 2-0 series lead as we head back to L.A. I should say to L.A., not back to. And what a game from this offense. Clutch hitting late in the game, and we ended up coming back from that 3-0 deficit. And honestly, how clutch is our lineup? Everybody gets a shot to be clutch. So we move on to game number three. And now we are in Dodger Stadium. And Joe Musgrove is still not at full energy. But we're going to throw him out anyway. Because we need our best pitchers out there as they trot out Julio Urias. Now, I was not going to pitch Musgrove in this game. The reason why is because he, he just I need that en energy from him. And Urias, though, is 3-0. I mean, he's probably their best pitcher in the rotation right now. So I'm going to put out our best pitcher in the rotation. So let's see what we can do here is we have an NL lineup here because we are on the road in the World Series. So we do not have the DH spot. So Yanni Hernandez gets to start at second base for defensive purposes. He also leads off the game, and that was a fly ball to right. That brings up Thompson, who will walk as that brings up Moncada in the three hole hitting close to 400 here in the playoffs he gets an outside fastball though and it's a fly ball to ozuna who plays first base with no dh remember will smith played there when there was a dh that brings up jake cave to the plate hitting in the four hole three two count two outs and it's just going to be a fly ball but it looks like it might drop and it does right in front of Marte. and look at thompson he's going to score all the way from first base. What hustle by Thompson. He is on his horse the entire time, and he ends up scoring, and it's 1-0 for the Kings, our first lead early in the game. So this brings up Carlos Santana, who goes to right field. Bellinger comes up throwing to the second baseman, and now this inning continues. Michael Brantley to the plate. He's been pretty good here in this series. And on a 1-2 count, he goes to left field. Just gets enough wood on it. And it's a two-run lead here in the first inning. Usually, it's the other way around. The Dodgers usually take the early lead. This time, it's the Kings. So that brings up Corey Lee to the plate now. 1-2 count. And he just hits a fly ball. But at least we get two runs here in the first. That's a great start as Musgrove is finally looking like he's going to have a good cushion of a lead here in the playoffs. 
So that brings up Starling Marte for the Dodgers and a great outside slider had uh, him fishing on that one as that brings up Bellinger here with two outs. He swings that one way out of the zone and he gets enough wood on it to drop. And look at Bellinger. He's on second base with the double. Wow, that one was just lucky or maybe it's just skill on Bellinger's part. part. So that brings up Ozuna. Hard hit up the middle. That one should score the runner from second base and it does. And just like that, we have a two run first inning and the Dodgers score one right back. They are just known for scoring runs early and maybe we just have to get on top of them and jump on them early too. So that brings up Seager up to the plate with two outs, a deep fly ball, but it looks like it's gonna be within Justin Thompson's grasp in center field and we get out of that first inning. So now we move on to the top of the third inning now, Jake Cave at the plate. He hits one deep to left field away from the shift. That is going to bounce at about the warning track and over the wall. It's a ground rule double. And remember, Jake Cave, plus 11 in the regular season. He's at 91 power versus left. That brings up Santana, who is just as good. Wow, right over the middle. And he misses. You won't see that often. Michael Brantley, same result. Swing and miss. Two outs. Corey Lee to the plate. The most likely of these all, all three of these hitters to get a hit. And what do you know? He goes to right field. It drops. But look at the aggressiveness by Cave. He's rounding third and safe. Three to one. Corey Lee comes up clutch. This inning is still going, but Jeremy Pena swings and misses, misses at some high heat. And we have the three to one lead. So now we move on to the bottom of the third inning. Ground ball with one out to second, to first, double play. Joe Musgrove, let's see if he can shut down this Dodgers lineup. We move on to the fourth inning. Two outs, guys on first and second, ground ball, Co Cody Hosey up to the plate, and he hits one, and that is gonna be a nice play by Jeremy Pena, and we get out of the fourth. On to the fifth inning, man on first base, another ground ball, Pena, Yanni, double play. We move on to the sixth inning. Musgrove has been pitching and dealing on the mound. And here he is, another fly ball. He gets through six. And with one run on the board, the Dodgers are going to have to come up clutch pretty soon because it seems like our man Musgrove, who should have won the Cy Young Award, is on a roll as we move on to the seventh. Here is Cave. He drives one deep. Home run. Jake Cave. We talked about the power versus lefties. And Urias was out of this game. Clayton Kershaw is out of this game. But they bring in another lefty out of the bullpen. And Cave makes him pay. So now we move on to the eighth inning. Musgrove is still on a roll in the eighth. And he's just about at 100 pitches. And that is going to be a little grounder right in front of the home plate. He gets the out. We're now with two outs. Another ground ball. How about the performance from Joe Musgrove? When he needs a ground ball, he gets it. So Dylan Floro on the mound for the Dodgers here in the ninth as Yanni Hernandez leads it off. But look at that bunt. Perfect. He's safe at first base. And Yanni leads us off with a single as now that brings up Justin Thompson. 2-3-4 due up next. And he watches one. And that could have been a ball, but it was in the strike zone as that brings up Moncada. 0 for 4 in this game, actually. And he hits one deep to right field. It's got some carry to it, and it's going to get over the wall. Home run for Yoan Moncada. What a playoffs Moncada and Santana and now Cave are having. It is now a sizable lead here for the Kings, and Moncada comes up clutch here. We've needed everybody to be clutch in this series, but it's six to one. Musgrove still on the mound in the ninth. He's at about 120 pitches just about. Here is Musgrove. That's actually his 107th pitch, I should say. And that's his first out. Ozuna with one out. He swings and misses. The outside slider. We are one out away from a 3-0 lead. Corey Seager, the last chance, ground ball right back to Musgrove and we take the 
3-0 series lead. This has been dominance. And we're not even killing them. I wouldn't say dominance, to be honest, but the way we're winning these games, I mean, we are just coming up clutch and calm and collective when we need to be. I mean, everybody has a hand in these wins. It's not just one person dominating. It's literally our entire lineup, our entire pitching staff, relief pitching, starting pitching, whoever. And look at this, man. We are up 3-0 on a 99-win Dodgers team. This is just incredible. Cave goes three for five. Corey Lee goes two for four. And how about Yanni getting that extra bunt there in the ninth inning, that base hit bunt, and then, honestly, Cave coming through and Moncada coming through with home runs. And those extra little things just getting on base, Those are that's what's winning us these games. I mean, we're drawing walks. We're getting, you know, fly balls, sacrifice flies, moving guys over. I mean, just the little things, just winning this series for us. Can we finish with a sweep? We'll have to see. Game four and five at least coming next episode. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy, though. Only problem with that is they not me, though. People act cool, but really they be shy, though. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me, though. I be low-key, but police be trying to find me.